Hey everyone, welcome back to the Math Lab. Today I wanted to share with you a uh, cool little piece of tech that someone showed me on Facebook. They had a question around how they could fix their attendance sheet. So I'm going to show you how to build the attendance sheet and um, maybe you could use it for something similar like uh, inventory when you're doing a stock take or something similar like that. So first thing you want to do is um, head over to a brand new sheet, Google Sheets, just by typing in sheets.new. And we're going to set this up as a URL, a URL, chuck in a name there, and also the QR code. So we're going to start off with the names. Uh, I've just got my usual list of names here that you might recognize. And what we're going to do is we are going to take these names, put it into a new form, and create a QR code. When a student comes into the classroom, they can scan their name that's posted on the classroom, uh, and that will automatically set them as present for the day. So let's head over to a new form, forms.new. Now for the um, title, I'm going to make it something friendly for the students to see once they submit their form, like, um, I don't know, welcome back to class. <clears throat> And then the untitled question, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. They're not going. No one's ever going to see this except for you. So I just put it as name. Um, I've already got my names still in my clipboard, so I'll just copy that. Uh, sorry, paste that through with Control V. Before we jump straight into the QR code, just go up to the top, and click on Presentation. We don't want to submit another response, so we'll unclick that one. Next, what we want to do is head over to the three dots and go to get pre-filled link. What this is going to do is it's going to open a new page and every time we click on one of these and then click get link it's going to give us a new um, URL. It's down here in the copy link so click that button and then go back to your uh, spreadsheet and paste it into there. Let's just take a quick look at what this says. So we've got the, the form name and then view form. So when we click on this, it's going to open up the form and Chucky Finster will already be pre-selected. It's got Chucky's name at the end. That's how we know who it's going to be. So as we go through this, just double check the name at the end matches the name in the correct row. So let's see, keep on going. Angelica Pickles, get link, copy link, paste it in. Now this is a little bit slow, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create um, two windows. If you've got uh, windows, you can hold the windows key and press left and right to put them left or right of your screen. Tommy Pickles is next. Get link, copy link, paste link. Can't see it very well, so just push it across a little bit. And we'll just go through and get all these done. Lil, copy, paste. Kimmy, get link, copy, paste. It's that easy. Timmy's the, the bully, I believe, that um, Chucky had uh, smelt that he had peanut butter on his breath after Chucky got his um, nose cleared up in one of the old episodes. And we're done. Make sure that these names match these names here. I'm pretty sure I got all those right. And let's bring it all back into one. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is, at the moment it says view form, but I don't want anyone to view this form here, this form. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to change this to form response. When we click on this now, it goes straight to the end. It's already been submitted. So there's one more thing I want to do f before we continue with this. See this USP equals PP underscore URL? Get rid of it. We don't want it. We want form response, question mark, entry. I'm going to do this for all of them, but as you can see, they're all exactly the same. So I'm just going to uh, highlight all of this and press Control C to copy it. 
Then I'm going to press Control F to find in Sheet. Press the little kebab. Find, paste that in there. And we're going to replace it with Form Response question mark. I'm going to replace all. You see we've replaced nine instances. And if I just move this across, it's all these ones here. Click on Done. And if we go into one of these, see, oh, it says resource unavailable. What did I do wrong? Oh, it might help if I spell response correctly. <laughs> Let's just change that from uh, form response to form response. Place all nine instances. Let's try that again. Let's do Kimmy. Click on that, and we get the uh, the end card. It's exactly what we want. Now to make sure it's actually working, uh, go to your responses individual and you see we had one for Chucky and one for Kimmy and then one that was uh, that failed. If you want to leave it like this that's fine they can come in and click these but the uh, original poster wanted us to add in a QR code so in order to do that what we're going to do is um, we can take a look on the Google API site you can just Google uh, QR code Google API and you'll see that you can actually create a QR code using a URL. We have our URL here, so we can create a custom QR code using this URL. What we're going to do is we're going to take this URL here, copy that, and push it over to the side, come back to our spreadsheet, and we don't actually need to see all of this, so just minimize it, push it back over, and the QR code, if I just paste it in there, not, nothing's going to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a formula, equals image, and this is our image. If we do that, nothing happens because we don't have all the details we need. If we come back to the Google API, you'll see that there are some required parameters. First, CHT equals QR. So we put that next to, let's do it up here, next to the question mark, CHT equals QR, that just tells us that it's um, going to be a QR code. Then do an AND. Next is CHS, this is required. Image size, CHS um, equals, let's do 150 by 150 pixels. Then do another AND. And then the next one is CHL equals, and this is the uh, data we want to encode, which is our URL. That is in cell, well, for this, we're currently in cell C2, so the corresponding one would be in A2. So I'm going to put it at the end, type it end, and then A2. That's going to read A2. There's our QR code. It's absolutely tiny. So to increase the size, just increase the size of the um, of the cell. It's that simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this form here. I'm going to go to responses. We're already there. Just push it off to the side. And with my phone, I've got my phone in my hand. I'm going to head over to a QR scanner. And I've got my QR scanner. That's not the one I like. That's the one I like. Um, I've got my QR scanner open. And I'm just going to scan this code. And we'll see up here. Hopefully, there we go. It changes to three responses. That one was for Chucky Finster. You can see that that's the one on screen. So if we go to the first response, Chucky Finster. Okay. Now we don't need to type this out every time because we've got this little handle in um, Google Sheets. We can just pull it all the way down. Each one of those gets their own uh, unique QR code. So I'm just going to increase the size of each of them and test it again. We haven't done Edwin Carmichael yet. So let's go back to the cell phone. Keep an eye on this screen over here. Scan Edwin Carmichael. Is the one we're after. It should show up in three, two, one, 
Bam. Perfect. We go to the response. Uh, there's Kimmy, there's Chucky, there's... Where is it? Ah, there it is. Edwin Carmichael. Works exactly as required. And there we have it. So, um, I think the way that uh, you might use this as a teacher would be you just um, print out this list here. You don't need this URL, so you can hide it. So print out this. Make, maybe make it a little bit more pretty. Um, have no back, background. Put these all centered. And get your sizes right. Oh, it's for some reason not resizing. I don't know what's going on. There you go. Let's put a border around them. I like nice chunky borders and a charcoal gray. Around all of them. Don't need those titles. There it is. That's our, uh, we'll print that out. Stick it onto a, a place in the classroom. And as the kids walk in, they can use their own cell phone, or even better, have an old cell phone for the teacher and, uh, that they that will be fixed in the classroom. They can't remove it, like chain it up or something, I don't know. And um, they can scan it as they come in. Let's take a look now at what the responses look like. If we click on this spreadsheet, it says create a new spreadsheet. Oh, let's actually... Um, title this um, the math lab class uh, period 2 I don't know that'll be in your Google Drive I'm just going to sort this out before we do stuff I'll put it in my Google stuff help and let's put it into attendance form move it here it's being moved and we'll create a spreadsheet in the same place. It opens up and it tells us the time that the student came in. I'm going to end this video here, but in the next video I'm going to show you how you can improve this so that it tells you whether or not they were late to class. Thank you for watching. See you next time.